Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and October is a very greenhouse month so I hope you'll excuse me for bringing you another update from the greenhouse. At this stage the greenhouse is all stocked up for winter and all of my tenders have been brought in here. Now I always like to leave something as a sacrifice to the dark gods of the garden. Maybe it's just being a little bit lazy and not quite getting that last thing up that I didn't care that, that much about. And I have a lot of Brugmansias this year, so one of the duplicate Brugmansias hasn't been brought in. But, you know, I may get round to it yet. We'll see. But one thing I didn't leave to the dark gods of the garden is this fantastic muskia here. And in my recent video, I was talking about lifting this for winter. And that's exactly what I've done. Now, when I lifted this fantastic plant, the top growth drooped quite substantially. And this happens with certain types of plants, with the echiums, for example. If you ever try and lift them and bring them into the greenhouse for winter, you inevitably do damage to the roots and the plant sulks for a bit and looks like it's going to die. But this one picked up much quicker than echiums do and I'm quite sure it's going to be fine. Unfortunately, I ran out of large plastic pots, so a number of my larger plants have had to go into clay pots, which is unfortunate because they're so heavy to lift around. I'm really loving how this trio of plants looks here. Really fantastic. And the first one here, the Isoplexus, isn't even mine. I'm holding this to pass on to a friend of mine from another friend. And just while it's looking so good, I decided to put it up on the shelf and show it off to its best. So this is Isoplexus canariensis, so from the Canary Islands, a gorgeous um, foxglove relative that's looking really good. And behind it, we have the um, Justicia, which has two flowers this year. I have another one somewhere else in the greenhouse, but it's just fantastic. I love that kind of pom-pom effect with the flowers. Behind it, the Sparmania. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe next year I'll get more from it. But what I really want to show you is over here to the left, where the Hymanthus albifloss is really, really picking up and looking fantastic. I'm just going to take these two leaves out of the Brugmansia so you can see how I have seven flower spikes just opening on this plant. Now, I would like to have this indoors to enjoy it properly, but I'm a bit afraid that the flowers might blast if I'm to move it into a, a warmer temperature. So I think I'm just going to leave it and enjoy it in the, in the greenhouse. This part of the greenhouse has my pelagoniums, as we know, and various other things here. But I'm just going to take you around now and give you a better idea of the extent of the greenhouse. Making it tricky now. But this year, I'm really pleased at how I've managed to leave navigation space in the greenhouse so that I can actually walk all the way around the centre and get at my plants to water and to mine them as the winter goes on. In fact, there's so much space in here, I'm now wondering why I left that Brookmancy out in the garden at all. I mean, I really should take it up and bring it in. And in fact, we haven't had our first hard frosts yet, so there's still time. As you can see, there are lots of plants in here, even down at this level that you can't normally see when I take a video clip. I think the time I love the greenhouse the most is now, when all the tender plants have been brought in and they're still looking good from, well, from the summer. And I put them in the greenhouse and it feels like a touch of the tropics, like a touch of the botanic gardens. But of course, as the season progresses, things begin to look a bit limp and a bit lank because it gets colder. And the whole point of this is just to keep them ticking over until I can plant them out again in spring. Well. In, uh, in, in early summer. But at the moment, yeah, I just love this space. Nowhere to sit, but I love it. So that's all for the moment. Thanks very much for coming with me into the greenhouse at my favorite time for enjoying it during the year. 
and I hope you have all your tenders lifted and kept safely if you live in the part of the, the same part of the world that I do. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.